Tonight we have reaction to the arrest from the parents of A.J. Goral. Andrew and Carol Goral talked with our Lisa Sugar about the arrests and about their son. We're here with Andrew and Carol Goral, the parents of A.J. Goral. Mr. and Mrs. Goral, what was your reaction upon hearing that the two men were arrested for beating up your son? Well, after 18 months, uh, we were delighted to hear that they finally were caught. Uh, I was also delighted and thrilled, of course, and um, the power of prayer, you never forget that. And the people were behind us, so that made, an, you know, really a lot, meant a lot to us. Mr. Goral, you said you have a lot of people you want to thank. Yes, let's start right at the top. Uh, we'd like to thank the Hazleton Police Force, uh, Ch uh, Chief DeAndrea, all the police officers, the detectives Liberta and Bunchak, uh, the assistant district attorney uh, Dan Zola. Dan talked to me privately and he said that there wasn't a day that went by that he did not work on AJ's case. So to all of the people of law enforcement, thank you. Also, you've heard from people everywhere, everywhere commenting. So tell us about some of the calls you got. We got calls from New York, New Jersey, Maryland, Washington, North Carolina, New Mexico, uh, San Francisco, all commenting on they're finally glad that they got these guys off of the street, finally. Now, you were not in the courtroom when they were taken in and arrested and charged. Do you think you can be in the courtroom? We're going to try, but it's going to be awfully hard for me to sit there and look at these two guys in the face and not actually want to swing at them. But if we have to be there, we'll do anything for AJ. We'll be there. How is AJ doing right now? He's making uh, progress every day. That's the good news. Um, we're trying to get him from Scranton back into our area. And uh, our goal is uh, we're going to bring him home. It's as simple as that. We're not going to rest until he comes home. We, we are, we're delighted that these guys, that was one part of our goal, get these guys off of the street. That's done. Now our goal is to bring our son home. Does, is he aware of what's happened that they've made arrests? He said he's seen himself on TV yesterday. And I said, well, what were you doing on TV? He said, I don't know. So he doesn't remember it. And we don't want to push it because, you know, it, it, you know the, the brain trauma and that, it, you, we're not psychiatrists or whatever else, so we just try to, you know, play calm about it. But he has an idea why he's there, that, it, you know, something happened to him. If these two guys are found guilty of what they're charged with, do you want an apology? <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. No, nah, it don't no, matter. It there, matter there, there's me. not words no. that them, them two... Two guys could say that could even even imagine what my son went through. Can't even imagine. Apology, if they want to say it, that's fine. You know, that's up to them. And you saw what the police report said on how he was dragged and everything. What what went through your mind when you saw the the events that actually occurred? It broke, oh. our, broke our hearts to see that being done he, to him, and he couldn't defend himself with you know. Um, but my like thought said, was, what kind of animal could do this to another human being, and then let them lay there, and not even, well, not even call an ambulance or anything to even try helping? I guess because after they did it, you know, uh, I guess they didn't. They thought maybe he would die, and they wouldn't have to go go through all of this stuff. Well, now that these arrests have been made. We want you to know that you're all in our thoughts and prayers, and we hope the next interview we get to do is with AJ. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate Channel 13 and all the news people out there that, that are behind us 100% in the whole community. We thank every one of you. Thank you for talking with us today.